So here's a new uh, 400 gigabyte fast micro SD. Hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Clinton Lee and Senior Product Marketing Manager over at Western Digital uh, within the Client Business Solutions Group. And uh, this is uh, called uh, A2 for faster app loading and performance. So that's a great one to use in a smartphone? Yes, so for phones that have the adoptable storage feature, uh, what you can do with the eight, with cards with A2 is adopt the card as internal storage, and that will allow you to directly install or download apps to the memory card and run those apps faster than it would be from a from a regular. How does it compare memory. with the internal storage in the phone? So uh, when you adopt the memory card. It'll be it'll be recognized as internal storage. How does it compare to the speed? Uh, speed well with A2, with the IOPS being 4,000 read and having a IOPS of 2,000 IOPS or write, it's it's pretty comparable. I mean it's it's a lot faster than today's standard of A1, which is only 1,500 read IOPS plus 500 write IOPS. So it's almost two and a half times faster with A2. So this is a big jump. Is, uh, is this the first A A2 card or there's some other ones, some smaller capacities? Yes, so the, the Extreme, the Sandus Extreme card with A2 will be the first to market uh, with one. the A2 standard, correct. All right, so the first with the A2 standard, uh, crazy fast storage, so that's going to be like a dream for people that want to install thousands of games and apps. Uh, yeah, perfect, ideal. That's an ideal situation with games and uh, applications, memory intensive applications. As we know, uh, with with, uh, with files and applications being memory intensive and require high performance, the Extreme Card's ideal for them with A2. One thing that, uh, okay, now, now I'm just checking right here, it says ideal for Android smartphones, tablets, and everything. I wish that there were some smartphones with two microSD slots. Are, there, there are some handsets out there that, that support two microSDs. Yeah. Uh, They're rare, right? It's rare, uh, but it, it's available in the market today. And how about four? In the RAID. Is it possible <laughs> to have in the RAID microSD cards? I have not seen that today in the market. But, but I have you seen be two. You promoting that, right? And uh, if, if people don't make it, you should make a phone with that. Can't you make phones or you're not allowed? Obviously for, for our, it'd be great for us, because that's more memory cards, more memory. And eventually it'll get there. We, we know eventually get there. If we see handsets with two memory card slots. Because you know, uh, Google does these pixel phones to show the market how to do Android. You should do a Western digital phone or send this phone to show the market that they need to have four micro SD card slots. We prefer to stay in our okay. where our expertise is, which is all about memory because storage, I like to have data storage. In my phone, you know. Yeah, that's, it's coming. It's it could be there, but whether we do it or not, we'll have the we'll have the solutions from a data storage uh, uh, standard uh, perspective yeah. for those type of uh, can, handsets. Can we walk just on the other side over there? Yeah. Sure. Let's go over here. Uh, so. So what are you showing right here? I see the SD card. Yes, what we're showing today, what we're announcing today is the ability to include PCIe technology into a memory card. Uh, an SD card. In an SD card, full size SD card, exactly. So um, theoretical, the PCIe speeds are 985 megabytes per second. We can get this up to close to 900 megabytes per second. Yeah, so, so right here it says 900 megabytes per second. It's called iExpand Base. Um, right. So this so what is, is it doing right now. So it's running. We're running a benchmark on the full on the full SD card with PCIe technology. So as you can see, we're in uh, read speeds up over 900 megabytes per second. So theoretical is 985. Today, cards with UHS-1 technology only uh, supports up to 104. Uh, with our extreme card, it's 160. So 160 with our new extreme card, PCIe running over 900. So imagine all those applications, all those 4K, 8K videos uh, being transferred. This one will transfer that in a flash. Is it getting towards the fastest you can do in SSD and stuff like that, or not the kind of memories? It's pretty darn close. To, to and the speeds of SSD. Of SD card. 
correct, yes. Uh, oh, well, PCIe is going to have its own pin layout. So it's a different pin layout. But in the, from a form factor perspective, it will follow the same full SD as well as, a, as eventually we'll get down to the... No, we have no problem. So this, uh, this is a full SD with PCIe interface. I'm taking the card out and we'll show the back of the card. This is the world's only PCIe SD card, right? Correct. I mean, what of the only? And what's, what's the special pin? Which one? So we've got the second row of pins right there <coughs> to support PCIe, as well as you have to have the NVMe interface, which is part of the protocol for PCIe. Nice. So uh, that's exciting for for what for many reasons. Uh, does that mean uh, you you'll be selling more and more? Uh... <coughs> How could this potentially be in uh, something like this? Is there any chance that you just swap in a new SD card and you have a? It's kind of like a, a, a theory. A theory. If you have a, a notebook or a Chromebook that supports PCIe, you could use it as extended memory, add an additional 128 or 256 gigs of memory, and, and essentially run it out of SSD space. And there's totally space for two, I'm just saying. You should have a, I like to have two. Okay. And, I like multiple yeah, I like multiple SD cards. And here's uh, some new, are those new? New generation of uh, NVMe SSD right here, very fast, right? Yes. 1700 megabytes per second. Unfortunately, I'm not as well versed on the SSD side. I'm only involved on Ooh, the there's, there's even one where over here. 3400 megabytes per second. Wait, okay. Sorry, yeah, I keep asking about that. If you could just look over here. So, there's uh, so do we, do something we called the 3, 3D SSD. Um, you know, I don't want—I don't want to put you on the spot or anything. But I mean, when when I see Samsung talking about 30 terabytes SSD, the 3D is definitely coming in this yeah, space, yeah. right? This. It is. Uh, and you, you, uh, unfortunately, yeah. I'm not as well versed on the hard drive or SSD space. So I've got only cover on the memory cards and USB. But there's on, on this new 400 terabyte uh, gigabytes. Sorry, terabyte would be cool. Uh, 400 gigabyte uh, micro SD is 3D technology. Correct. Yes. So how does that mean? This is so it's layers? it's it's all about layers on how much memory you can stack uh, on the layers and fit it within the the uh, ID itself. 